Hi guys, Brian the Scare Lion back with another video and well we're in 2019 and we've got some not so good things to look forward to this year. We've got Article 13 being implemented, Brexit coming, we've already seen the mystery box scam from Ricegum and Jake Paul and a lot of other YouTubers. We've seen Morgz's mum taking over Will Any in subs. So I figured for this video let's have a look at some of the stuff we've got to look forward to in 2019. Now some of you guys might not agree with some of the stuff that I'm about to go through, but personally I'm looking forward to a lot of this. So the first thing that I'm looking forward to is hopefully hitting 100 subscribers. Uh, hopefully I'll do this by August, fingers crossed. It'd just be amazing to see my subs gone up to 100. I'm currently sat on 96, which in itself is fucking incredible. Uh, and I just can't wait to see where it all goes. But once I do hit 100 subs, I'm thinking about doing another Q&A, hopefully. Maybe this time we'll do it with Thomas or Sophie or maybe even both of them. We'll, we'll see what happens when we get to it. One of the biggest things that I'm looking forward to this year is Season 4 of Lucifer. Uh, now, if you're a fan of Lucifer, you might have heard last year it actually got cancelled by the network uh, and revived by Netflix. Netflix have added it to their programming. So I'm really looking forward to it. It would have been a shame to see it end the way it ended. It would have just left us with so many questions. It's a show that I absolutely love. If you've not seen it before, it's it's brilliant. It's about the devil being on earth. He's gave up hell. Like He's walked away. He said he doesn't want to do it anymore. And he's working alongside the police. And you could just imagine it in your head where it all goes to honestly go and watch it it's fucking brilliant so far from what i've seen most of the cast are returning i, I haven't seen anybody from the actual cast of the show that isn't actually going to be in it when it comes into pictures from on set or little videos from on set things like that it looks like everybody who who was in the last season is actually returning for this season as of right now we know that they've wrapped up the filming uh, but we are unsure of when it's actually going to be aired So just keep an eye out for it uh, Or go back and rewatch it honestly uh, I think I've watched season 1 to 3 at least 4 or 5 times now Another thing that I'm really looking forward to is AEW All Elite Wrestling In my mind this is going to rival WWE Just, just with who's running it and the sheer calibre of wrestlers that they've got so far uh, you've got the likes of Neville, sorry, Pac. You've got Chris Jericho, you've got the Hangman, Adam Page, Cody Rhodes, obviously, the Young Bucks, obviously, and there's so many more being added to it. I'm not sure yet who's going to be in the women's division on it, but we do know that they've signed uh, Britt Baker, and Brandy Rhodes is obviously going to be appearing, probably wrestling. All Elite Wrestling looks brilliant, um, and the first taping is going to be the second event, Double or Nothing, I believe. Uh, they announced it all during a live stream, and I, it was fucking, it's brilliant to see. Uh, I honestly can't wait for it. This company, 100%, I believe, is going to rival WWE. The AEW event, Double or Nothing, is going to be on the 25th of May, so, hey, stay tuned for it. Staying on the topic of wrestling, one of the things that I'm really looking forward to when it comes to movies is fighting with my family. This film's all about the WWE superstar Paige and about her life and her family and her journey in getting towards WWE. For a wrestling fan, these sorts of films are brilliant because it gives you an in-depth look at just a superstar that you've followed throughout their career and a superstar that you've loved to see. As we know, this film was written and directed by Stephen Merchant. I believe uh, Rock played a part in uh, directing the film and getting everything together. You've got a few big names in this. Uh, you've got Vince Vaughn's going to be in this film. The Rock, obviously, is going to be in this. You've got Nick Frost playing uh, Paige's father. Nick Frost is an unbelievable actor. I've loved him in every film that I've seen him in. Uh, probably my favourite as of this moment is The Boat That Rocked. I really, I really loved him in that film. As you know, uh, last year Paige had to announce her retirement from in-ring wrestling, which was heartbreaking to see. Uh, you could see it in her face that she really didn't want to give it up. But I'm glad that they managed to keep her in the company. It's fantastic. I don't know, I feel like this film's going to build up more of a hype for Paige. P people will want to see her on screen now. Sticking with movies now, uh, we're going to move on to It Part 2. Now when it comes to the film It, I was really, really worried about it when I first heard that we were remaking it. 
because I'd seen the film and I absolutely loved it. Uh, even though I've got a massive fear of clowns, I think that's the best thing with a film like this. Because I've got that fear of clowns, I think it pulls me in more. Because when you watch a horror, you truly want to be scared. And there's not many horrors that do that for me, but it is one of them that really, really freaks me out. It appears they're sticking with the layout the way they did the first film, uh, splitting it up so that the first half, you know, part one, was all based around when they were children, and then part two is all based around when they're adults. I think we're going to see a lot more character development. Uh, some of the names that we've seen being put forward for this are like James McAvoy, Bill Hader, Bill Skarsgård, who is obviously reprising the role of Pennywise the Clown. I'm really looking forward to it because the first one really changed my mind on the whole. It's a remake, it's probably going to be shit. This one is more of, it's a remake, but the first one was brilliant, so the second one I feel like is just going to do it justice. Now obviously there's other films and stuff that I'm looking forward to, Avengers Endgame, Captain Marvel, Shazam, I mean, <laughs> I'm just listing comic book stuff here, but the, there's a lot I'm looking forward to. There's also like TV shows, like uh, The Return of the Flash, The Return of Arrow, again I'm sticking to comic book stuff, but really that's just me, that's me in a nutshell comic book stuff but everything that i've gone through that's mainly the big things that i'm looking forward to this year uh, let me know down below what you guys are looking forward to uh movies stuff that you're going to be doing uh who knows just anything and i hope you like this video and if you did like it butt fuck that like button please